I'm an ace on the river, not playing cards. Alcohol and reefer, that's my A&R. Now fly Hey guys, me, Purebred Fisher, today with another video. Uh, as you guys can see on the screen, I'll put a screenshot. It says the GTA 5 Online business update will be coming next week, Tuesday, March the 4th. And uh, right now, this video will be about me reading over it and all the information in this update that will be coming out next week, March the 4th. And um, yeah, as you can see here, this was the uh, Rockstar Newswire, and this was updated, uh, or this was released actually 4 hours and 38 minutes ago while I was in school. So I could not make a video on it until now since I just got home. But uh, as you can see here, um, it says GTA 509, the business update coming next week, Tuesday, March the 4th. So it will be coming out March the 4th of next week, and uh, hopefully it's very, very cool. I will read through all this information and put the link down in the description below if you guys want to read it for yourselves. Uh, but if you guys want to listen to me read it, it's really up to you if you guys want to stay or not. But uh, first off, right below the uh, screenshot, as you can see, it says the business update. Right below that, we have, let's see, I'm going to read it right now. Enjoy the perks of rising through the ranks of your Los Santos and Blaine County business ventures with the business update coming next week, Tuesday, March the 4th, to PSN and Xbox Live. So yeah, it's going to be on both consoles. You can actually get it in single player and multiplayer. You just have to download it in one of the two, and you will actually be able to uh, play it in both online and single player. So after that, we have Thrill Seekers and Weekend Warriors can hop in any of the all three new Blazing Fast sports cars. The Albany Alpha, Dinka Jester, and the Grotti Turismo R. And um, yeah, or take the skies in the Vestra airplane. As you can see, the Vestra airplane is below. That's a screenshot of it. It's like orange and white. Uh, hopefully you guys can change the colors or customize it. We have no idea yet. But uh, yeah, it looks like a mini private jet that you can fly around and hopefully it's not too expensive to buy. And, uh, yeah, we will be able to fly it in when the update comes out. But uh, below that, below the screenshots uh, and what I just read, we have Swing by Ammunition to pick up two new weapons, the Heavy Pistol and the Special Carbine, which both offer some serious firepower. After that, we have Dress for Success with formal and business casual attire options like the new suit jackets, slacks, glasses, heels, and blouses, or Don new all business hairstyles and currency-themed tattoos. There's also a collection of new masks, perfect for disguising yourself during the next hostile takeover. So as you can see below, we have a screenshot of the heavy pistol. It has like a little red dot on it or something. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's like a red dot site. And uh, <clears throat> next to the guy that's holding the heavy pistol, we have some uh, other guy holding the special carbine. It looks like a G36 from Call of Duty, and it looks very, very good. And hopefully they do offer some serious firepower, as it says. Now, below those screenshots, we have another article that I'll read right here, another paragraph. Just like the recent Valentine's Day Massacre special, the new vehicles and weapons will be available in both story mode and online. In story mode, weapons will be deposited into all three characters' inventory with two full ammo clips, and all three cars are accessible from the garage properties. So, uh, yeah, you can go to your garage, Franklin's, Michael's, or Trevor's garage in GTA 5 Online, or uh, I meant uh, single player, sorry. But, uh, yeah, you can actually go to single player in any of their garages, and uh, you can get the car for free and test it out there if you don't have enough money to uh, test it out in online. After that, we have another sentence here. It says, in GTA Online, you will be able to purchase the new weapons and their attachments at any ammunition location, while the vehicles will be able for purchase from the Legendary Motorsport and Elitist Travel website. But as you can see below, there's a screenshot of the new uh, Turismo R and Alpha. Uh, the Alpha is in red, and the Turismo R is in yellow. And uh, the yellow or the uh, Turismo R car actually looks like a little bit like the Cheetah, but uh, kind of redesigned, and it looks a little bit like the Entity on some of the side parts. It looks very, very cool. Hopefully, it's not too expensive, so we can buy it uh, when we get into GTA Online. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can save up enough money to buy it when the DLC does come out, because they will not be free cars. But as you can see, they are evading from the police, and uh, that's a very, very cool screenshot. I'll probably have that as a thumbnail. I have no idea yet. But as you can see, it says, Don't forget that this weekend is your last chance to grab the Albany Roosevelt limousine, the Gusenberg Sweeper machine gun, and the rest of all the exclusive items from the Valentine's Day Massacre special before they're gone. Once you purchase them in-game, there's yours to keep but they will no longer be available to purchase after midnight PST this Sunday, March 2nd. And stay tuned for details about our upcoming business update event weekend, as well as more information to be revealed on the future updates, including online heists, the, the capture creator update, new assassination and flight school missions for story mode, and much more. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. As you can see, we will have some new missions and stuff like that coming in the future of GTA 5 Online in story mode, and uh, that will be very, very cool. And uh, hopefully when this update comes out, this will be cool as well. The cars look amazing, and I can't wait to see the other one car that will be coming out very soon, or that will be revealed very soon on March 4th. 
But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Newswire link in the description below, and you can read this by yourself if you want. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.